Here on the SATID 342 bomb for attacking gatherings or radar equipment and enemy artillery personnel. The SATID 342 bomb is the second member of the SATID family, which was showcased in 2014. During the visit of the Iran's supreme leader to the exhibition of the achievements of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. However, due to the display of the SADD-345 bomb in the same exhibition, the operational history of the SADD-342 probably goes back to before the year of its unveiling. In this bomb, the engine is removed, and the bomb is attached to under the UAV's wings using two rings. The main difference between SADD-342 and SADD-1 missile is these two things. The wings of the bomb are not different from the SADD-1 missile, and the wings are folded into the body. The SADD-342 bomb has been produced in three types of television, infrared and thermal guidance. SADD-342 bomb in the exhibition of the achievements of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in 2014. This bomb has an infrared filter, which is often used for infrared seekers. SADD-342 bomb with a mercury coating, indicating the use of a thermal seeker IR, in this bomb. Due to the removal of the main engine in this bomb, more explosives can be used without much change in the weight of the bomb. It can be considered that the SADD-342 bomb will probably be the same weight as the SADD-1 missile. Removing the main engine will reduce the range of this bomb, and its range can be predicted to be about 3 kilometers if released at a height of 5 kilometers. Possible specifications of SADD-342 glide bomb its diameter, 15 centimeters, length, 116 centimeters, missile weight, 18.5 kilograms, warhead weight, 7 kilograms, probably twice as much as SADD-1 missile, there is a possibility of reducing the weight of the warhead and increasing the range, warhead type, Shape charge, packed missile weight, 42 kilograms, range, 3 kilometers. Iran's experiences in using SADD missiles and bombs in the Syrian war led to the production of a new type of SADD bombs. In SADD-345 bomb, the front wings have become fixed wings, and it is designed in a way that brings the maximum amount of lift to drag ratio, but the rear wings are still folded. It should be noted that the only member of the SADD family which its specifications have been officially announced, is the SADD-345 glide bomb. According to the specifications of SADD-345, this bomb is suitable for attacking gatherings or radar equipment and enemy artillery personnel. This bomb has three types of guidance one of which is television guidance, the accuracy of which is the lowest, and its error is 5 meters. Clear air is needed to receive television quality images, and this is a very big limitation for this bomb. But there is also a type of laser guidance, which the error rate is declared to be 2.5 meters. Laser guidance also loses its effectiveness in dusty and foggy weather conditions. The third type of conventional guidance on this bomb is guidance with an IR seeker, which has brought an accuracy of 2.5 meters, which is a very good number. In addition, the thermal seeker can be used in all weather conditions. The warhead weight in the range of SADD-345 bomb have not been announced. Considering the 470 mm increase in the length of the SADD-345 and the increase in the weight of the bomb by nearly 15 kilograms, about 20 kilograms of explosives can be considered for this bomb. 